morning, afternoon, or evening, Wolfie and Decadence back again. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Single Biome Survival. And again, this episode is the river biome with lava. So, uh, today, uh, I'm going to put my armor back on because I hear zombies around. You can see my armor's a little worse for wear. Um, this is all the junk I've been collecting while I was mining. <laughs> uh, killed a couple endermen, killed a witch. I uh, have some extra picks for later. Um, so let me just show you this real quick first off. To kind of get an idea. Now this is mostly iron and coal with some redstone. I haven't run any lapis, surprisingly. There is a little bit of diamonds. I had to take one diamond. See it over here, there's three left. Um, to make a pick, uh, there's some gold over there. Uh, so there's a little bit of diamond. Um, but this is basically doing my <clears throat> two grid or my two space around all all the uh, ores. Uh, it has other than this one because again we are at bedrock, uh, so I won't bother with that. There's nothing going to be around that. So I'll go back through this and mine all this junk out later. Normally I would have mined it out as I went and just shaved off the top as I went down. Uh, but I wanted to show you how it kind of appears if you leave it. Plus, it gives you a kind of cool look on how the ores spawn, which is kind of neat. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to mine that out right now. But uh, what we're going to do instead is go upstairs and uh, do some work up there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So, yeah, still the snapshot has some issues. Uh, this door is actually closed. See? closed. It looks open, but it's actually closed. <laughs> it's kind of fun, though. It's like a mystery. Is that door open? Isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Um, so up here, I did... Uh, what's that time? Uh, I got a bed. I killed enough spiders upstairs. Uh, what happened was I was uh, um, farming. Uh, we were going through the tree farm, chopping down trees, and I just happened to kill enough. Um, enough for a bunch of string. Enough, uh, oh boy, enough spiders. I don't think there's too much new. I mean, a bunch of extra zombie flesh from all that and whatnot. Uh, witch, killed a witch, killed some more endermen. Um, I have enough obsidian uh, with my diamond pick to uh, make ourselves a portal to the, the, <clears throat> to the nether if we want. I uh, decided to smelt up some glass, which we will take upstairs. Okay, just those two. Let's sleep. Maybe. There. Wow. That was uh, an unusual hitbox, but whatever. Okay, there, there. Oops. Sorry about that. Apparently my glass is heavier than I thought. Oh, one other thing I did. Uh, oh, I did a little bit of caving just for the fun of it. Uh, I did add an extra path for the stairwell uh, over here. Just going down this side to match that side in case I don't want to I'll go across that little tiny footbridge. Not that this is much wider, mind you. Pop on down here, see? Ooh. Isn't that nice? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And I'll worry about the potatoes here later. And apparently my other cat is talking now. One second, I'll be right back. Yep. <laughs> Good old snapshots. <laughs> uh, I was noticing, watching um, Generic B on the new season of Minecraft, uh, they're having all sorts of glitches as well. Let's reload these chunks. Um, they're having all sorts of visual glitches as well. And they're not on the most recent snapshots. They're close, but not quite. Uh, I am I am playing on the current snapshot, which is 14W29B. And it does cause issues. I did, uh, I tried an experiment, um, just a little normal creative world and uh, yeah on the snapshots I had that block lag on pretty much everything I attempted uh, unless I rolled it back to you know the standard release uh, and then it was fine so on the same world I could just switch back and forth and as soon as I put it on the normal everything was good and as soon as I put it on the snapshot era, everything was all funky but I had cut out all these trees added some more on the edges here. I'd cut down all these trees and replanted a lot. Um, 
I have so many saplings. And then over here, oh, you can see I got rid of the little mini um, wheat farm, and I added a new wheat farm over here. This here is um, my <laughs> creeper resistant chest. I just encased it in a stone. So, yeah, and it's specifically for this farm, which, why? I don't know, just in case we wanted bread instead of potatoes. I have all potatoes downstairs now and all wheat upstairs. Um, and I can, if I open up this door, I can reach this from just the outside edge. Yeah. So, uh, so what we got over here is a chest that I put in with the, the wood that we had cut down, as you can see. Uh, and a bit of spare parts from working. Put this in there. And we'll pull that out for now. And actually, let's make another crafting table. Actually, let's make two. Which sounds weird, but I, I like having plenty of crafting tables around. So let's just set this anywhere. Right there is good. And we'll convert this all to planks. And what we're gonna do today, well, there's two things I wanna kinda get the base down for. I wanna put the base down for our house. And I want to get a base down for a nether portal. Um, I mean, I could just stick a nether portal anyway, anywhere, but I thought for fun, I don't normally do a lot of building, uh, but for fun we would, we would uh, go ahead and go from here. Uh, for fun, we would build something a little bit more than just plain old, you know, stick a portal in the, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. That <laughs> it freaks me out walking over empty space. And what about this side? Uh, say right about here. Holding the shift like crazy, because oh, I don't really want to fall to my death. Did that once. Of course, at least my res uh, my spawn point's been switched now, uh, now that I have a bed. So then we want this line here. It's going to go there. And keep it kind of square here. hope I didn't shift off on that. I don't think so. Yeah. So then we'll take a layer off. should torch up this side just in case. Get some torches out here. Help reduce mob spawn. Um, the tree farm I discovered coincidentally enough makes a pretty decent makeshift enderman hunting um, area. Uh, if you just make sure all the leaves are you know cut back if they're only one high but to make sure you can get too high space and uh, you can aggro enderman fairly easily um, again though you'd want to <laughs> you'd want to make sure that you had a proper enderman hunting spot if you're doing it for a long period of time because you do rush uh, risk being overrun by zombies and skeletons and stuff though you can bob and weave pretty good through the trees Now, we may not find this space big enough, so we may have to uh, expand it. Ah, nerds. They do 
be more careful with that. That one's going to be lost. I'm not going to go all the way down for it. The one problem with assigning this, uh, these blocks to hot, uh, hotspot 2 is I don't have a mechanical keyboard. So the, <laughs> the system has an issue with if I'm holding like three buttons at once, it won't let me hit that again, like hit the two. So for example, if I'm holding back, so in this case I'm holding uh, the S key, and I'm holding shift, uh, it often won't let me, or especially if I'm hitting the, uh, the W to go forward. Uh, so if I hit that, say, so let's do forward and hit two, see how I'm, I'm hitting, hitting two and nothing's happening, I have to let go of one of my buttons, or both of my buttons apparently to reset it. So that's kind of an issue. Which is usually why I assign the sword to number one. <laughs> now, of course, we could have made this out of stone or one of the new, one of the new decorative blocks, like the right or whatever. But I thought standard wood's kind of got a homey feel to it. Would have been nice to have some wood color variations. But this is what we got right now. And unless I luck out and find some in a chest or something, which I don't think is going to happen, but you never know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to close this off completely for now. Uh, in the end, I will have a spot in the middle, I think, open so that I can do a water drop straight down to get down quicker. Actually, let's... Got it. Nice. Mm, which one do we want to do? I think that's probably... Oh gosh, which one should we do? Oh, I lost that one. Maybe this one. I think that one might be the better option. All right. Let's go ahead and put that in there now. Go get some more water. It's getting night already? Wow. That didn't take long. Well, let's use it. Down we go. Fighting the current takes a little bit of more work than I want, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Is there anything wacky downstairs? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Awesome. And then we'll have to find uh, some other way, some other quicker way up. I was thinking maybe uh, stairs. Um, using um, blocks and half slabs going up in a spiral, but I don't know how well that'll work because it's not a square structure, so it's, it's hard to say. We may have to experiment with that. Heard an Enderman somewhere. Whoa, up we go. I should have grabbed some more cobblestone while I was up there. Okay, though. All right, so this is going to be the start of the house. I'm probably going to dig out and make a little front deck because it sounds like fun. And then where do I want to put our nether portal? Hmm. I should have scouted that out before. I mean, I could put it out here. I think I want to have it up higher on a little plateau or something. Maybe up here? 
This could be a nice spot for it. Let's uh Yeah, let's level off this spot. I'm not sure which uh, what size we're gonna make the nether portal. Um, because I haven't figured out exactly what kind of structure to put around it. But I think we should do now I mean I have 17 obsidian and I can get more with the uh, diamond pick, so I don't see any reason why we can't do something a little nicer, a little bit bigger than normal. So let's see. And actually let's uh, fill this guy in. So weird. <laughs> so weird. See, sometimes it'll go no problem, and then all of a sudden it will just kind of glitch out. The uh, weirdest point is when you mine like a half dozen or so um, blocks out, and they stay. Sometimes for as like as much as like a couple of minutes, like it's pretty crazy. Presentation of the uh, come on there we go man that was a lot more difficult than it should have been will be. So I'm just going to have entrances on both sides. I'll consider this kind of my backyard because you know it's got the, the garden back here and my nice my nice uh, tree forest foresty farmy thingy. <laughs> yeah, that could work. Kind of like the lone tree. I also like as you notice that over time our desolate wasteland has actually become this beautiful, lush green area. It's like the earth has restored itself. It's it's quite nice. I like it. It's uh, it's, it's actually now that it's gotten this way, it's a lot more friendly than it was in the previous season. I mean, the ocean biome had no grass to to, to grow, so I mean, it was going to remain barren forever. I didn't even think about how this would cause the grass to, to move out and it's just really nice. I, I really like it. Uh, though I imagine if we move past chunks we've been to, it'll probably be back to that barren uh, barren wasteland. But we're not worried about that until we go searching for a, an end portal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think what we'll do is we'll make a some kind of little stand, like podium. Raise it up a couple um, with just your standard standard stairs. Although I don't know again what material I'm going to make it out of. We got some options. Yeah, so I think that would be doing pretty good as our, our beginnings of our build. Let's get up a little bit higher and take another look. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Is this the right? One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three. That won't stand. All right. Last thing we're going to do then is we are going to make one more row just to 
even off with the water there. That was a good example. And there we go. That's right, right? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. And we got lots of wood left, so we should. Let's go ahead and pop that back in there for now. Um, should be good for for all our supplies for a while while we build. I might make up some more glass. I don't know, we'll decide later. I'll leave that for it is and we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. Uh, and we're gonna figure out how, how we're gonna build this exactly too. Uh, but it should be pretty awesome, I hope. And uh, I hope you're also having a fantastic day. So we'll see you guys next time.